we will now look at multiplication. LMC does not have any multiplication functions, so to do multiplication we have to use addition. To multiply something we have to add it to itself the amount of times we want to multiply it by. For example, to do 12 times 10, we have to add 12 to itself 10 times. Pause and read this if you want to, but we'll go through the actual code right now. This is the code to multiply two numbers in LMC. I'm going to run it first and then I'll explain it line by line. So as you saw in the example, I multiplied 12 by 10, so I'll use those in this walkthrough of the code. We start by inputting the first number, which was 12, and then subtract it by y, which is 1. I'll get back to why you need to do this later. You then store that value as n. We will then input the next number. In this case, we will set 10 as a. I'll then load a and st also store it in box 99. This is so that it can add to a and use that as an output and still have a copy of the original number we inputted to add with. Then it loads n and checks if it's 0. On our first loop, it will be 11, so it's not 0. The program will continue. Then we load a and add the value of box 99 to it. Then load n and subtract it by 1. This means the first iteration of addition is complete and the code will return to the beginning of the loop. We'll then check if n is 0. After 11 iterations, n will be 0 and a will have been added to box 99 12 times and this means we've got our result. When n is 0, we'll go to the line that begins with n. It will then output a and end the program. So I just want to explain why I have to subtract by y here. So I'm just going to run the program with it first quickly. So as you can see, it outputs the correct answer. But now if we get rid of it, it will actually give us um, an extra loop, meaning we'll get 113. So in NMC, this command means it will stop at 0. So the only way we can get that to correctly work is by subtracting by 1 so that it stops at 12 loops instead of um, not subtracting by 1, which will cause it to stop at 13 loops. NMC also doesn't have a division function. So to do division, we have to use subtraction. To divide something, we have to subtract x from y until y is 0. And then our result is actually how many times we had to subtract so the way we're going to do this is by counting how many iterations we had to do until our first number became 0. Pause and read the example for more information. This is the code to divide two integers in LMC. I'm going to run it first then explain it line by line. So as you saw in the example I divided 12 by 2 so I'm going to use those two numbers in this walkthrough. So I first input 12 and then I store that as A. I then input my next number and store that as B. Now this part of the code is actually due to an issue in LMC itself. I had to load 99, box 99, which is 0 by default, and then store that as C. The reason I couldn't just you know, use C.0 is because of some weird error with how LMC um, loads variables. Anyways, then we load A and check if it's 0. Obviously, I inputted 12, so it's not 0, and we'll just continue. We'll then load A and subtract it by B, and store that as A. We'll keep doing this until the number gets to 0, which is then when it actually goes to um, line end. Anyways, it will then load C, which is 0, and add 1 to it, and then it will store that as C. It will then go through the loop again and keep doing that subtraction until A becomes 0. When A does become 0, it will output C. C is actually our result since it's basically a counter, which counts how many times we've gone through the loop. It will then basically output that and then end the program. 